Hello my beautiful Pisces. I'm so sorry for the late reading. This is your January 2020 reading for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. My name's Trudy. I'm your poor Chew Gypsy Angel Medium. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome. Um, for those of you who have not subscribed, please do. Uh, especially if the reading resonates. If it doesn't resonate, let it go. And don't leave me negative comments in the comment box, because it's a comment box, not a complete box. Um, so I'm using the Round Mother Piece Tarot, which if you guys know me, I call it the Sex Dex. You'll, sh you'll shortly see why here shortly. Um, I wanted to give a big shout out to those of you who get personal readings with me. And those of you who make donations to the channel, I really do appreciate it. If you do want a personal exchange of energies with me, click on the description box below. Follow the instructions. Actually, I think it's on this side. It's like a little downward facing arrow. So click on that description box and follow the instructions. Also click the subscribe button, the red subscribe button below the video and it'll turn into a bell. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified every time I get... I upload a new video. Um, oh, we have jumping cards for you, Pisces. Let's let's shuffle one more time. Oh my gosh, we got the three main energies. I love it. Cut the deck one more time. All right. So to start with, here we have the Seven of Swords. You know, normally that would be like treachery or deceit, but in this case, it's trying to break in. It's trying to find a sneaky way in to the chicken coop. That's what the fox is. So this could be you or it could be someone in your surrounding being sly like a fox, trying to get, trying to find a way in through treachery, lies, deceit, manipulation, right? And so here you are just being a fool, happy-go-lucky, F it. I'm not supposed to be saying bad words this year. So, um, you know, like, there's even, like, shrooms over here. This person really doesn't give an F. This is the zero Fs given. And he's very comfortable with himself and his surrounding because he does not give a crap. You know what I mean? Like, nothing phases him. He is completely unfazable. And that's who you've become in the month of January. Even if there is all of these, like, bothersome details, you know, you are aware that you are like the phoenix rising from the ashes over and over again. So it doesn't matter what happens to you because you're the fool and you're always going to, like the phoenix, rise from the ashes time and time again. Oh my. Pisces, are you dealing with a Gemini or are you falling in love? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> Are you falling in love with a Gemini? Or do you have some Gemini in your chart? Could be so many different things. Anyway, so here we have you sending out some wishes to the universe. And I feel like these are love-related wishes because the very next card, and it's like this is your difficulties. You're having a hard time sending out your wishes. You're having a hard time focusing on your wishes. But your real wish here is the lovers. The love boat. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we have the shaman of swords so with in a romantic scene you're having a hard time expressing your true wishes you're having a hard time speaking your truth you know it's like your head is divinely illuminated and your mouth is throwing up the verbal truth um and it's coming from a heartfelt place. There's this beautiful flower here. And this is climbing up the ladder. So this is something that needs to be done in order to get to the place that you want to be. You need to speak your truth, which is these wishes. For the love. So your eventual outcome for the month of January. My beautiful Pisces. My little fishy of the zodiac. As my cat's growling in the background. Um, you know, and somebody may have a cat because here we have the Ace of Discs. And this is pointing to material abundance, a new material enterprise. This is having the bills paid, money in the bank, and everything that you need. Not necessarily billions in the bank, but you are right. You're okay. 
you know, and he's chilling naked with his kitty on like the rug by the fireplace, uh, playing with a ball of yarn. He's chilling. And we got another ace. I mean, how good is this? You got two aces to close the month of January, Pisces. And this is the ace of wands. This is you rebirthing yourself in a passionate, fiery, um, driven manner. You're, you're completely dedicated to whatever it is that you're doing. And it falls right under the lovers. So I really love that you got these two aces to close out the reading. And then you got the five of cups, which is like everybody happy-go-lucky, jolly, dancing around. Sure, there's an extra energy, but we're going to make it work. We are happy and we're going to make this thing work. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates with you. And I can't wait to see you guys soon. Check out my website. It's ilylys.com. And I love you. Love yourself. Love everybody around you. Oh, yeah. Here's the undercurrent. This is under all of the cards. And it's the Ten of Swords. And this is what you've been feeling leading up to the month of January. Like you wanted to jump overboard. Like you wanted to jump off of the ship and GTFO skedaddle because it's like not a good healthy situation for you or whatever it could be at work it could be in love it could be at home uh, but pretty much you wanted to leave and abandon abort the situation um, all right so I hope you enjoyed that very much thank you so much for tuning in I love you love me back love yourself love everybody around you Mwah.